Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Noah Shaw or Ford Six Bow and today we have the part 10 of building my dream shop house slash ranch series. Today we're going to be completely installing and bolting down the four post lift into the ground. We're going to be wrapping up all of the drywall tape and float and texturing upstairs as well. So let's go ahead, jump right into today's video and get some work knocked out on the shop. So we're gonna go ahead and load up in my 6.7 work truck and get headed out to the property. And yes, I know a lot of y'all have been saying this truck needs a full replacement ranch hand. And trust me, I'm with you. I'm gonna get one soon. So stay tuned for that. And also, if y'all haven't seen some of my other social medias, we just picked up this John Deere 36 inch triangle toolbox. So if y'all wanna see a video once I get the whole entire box completely stocked up with tools in my mobile setup, let me know as well in the comments. But while we were installing the four post lift and testing it all out, the system did have a leak on the cylinder. So I went ahead and completely removed it. We're gonna go get this completely resealed and installed back in the lift. So it's like brand new again. But I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the shop house now so we can get all this work knocked out today. Crank up the six, seven go ahead and start using the Milwaukee blower on all the inside of the shop to get it all cleaned out. Slowly but surely you can see how well we're getting the shop all cleaned out and slowly pushing all of that dirt from the back wall to outside the shop. And that's going to wrap it up for the night. I was using my Milwaukee leaf blower and getting all of the shop completely blowed out and we got all of that caliche and dirt out of the shop for the most part. But we're gonna go ahead, wrap it up for today, close all the bay doors and hop in the old work rig and get back at it tomorrow. And we've got all of the green drywall laid out in the entire bathroom. And I had to pick up a few more extra pieces of drywall for all the bathrooms and then we'll be good to go and have all the drywall laid up. And we also added some 30% ceramic windshield tint to that work truck. Check that out, looks a hundred times better. And we just picked up an entire pallet of green mud for all the tape and float and all of the texturing at the shop house. And a long awaited update on all of the drywall here. We got everything finally all hung up and eventually we got to taping and floating it a little bit. And then here shortly, we're gonna be doing a complete level five smooth finish on all of the walls. So we're gonna be really floating them out with a ton of mud to give us a completely smooth finish all the way around in the entire house, but slowly but surely is all coming together. And right now, a lot of mud is drying from all of the tape and floating. And then tomorrow, they'll start skimming it out a little bit further to make the walls have an even smoother finish to get that pure level five finish. Cause I just, I'm not really a fan of the orange peel or textured look after that they spray on usually. So we're going for the really nice, more modern look the completely flush finish. And today we're gonna to start trenching for all of the electrical lines to move all of our power to that line over there from this line right here to get rid of this power pole. And as far as all the electrical goes, we went ahead and ran it in PVC conduit to the new power pole outside into the fuse box inside. And then we ran all the power upstairs into the shop house. So let's go ahead, get headed inside, show you all the progress we've made in the past couple of weeks. Cause we've been super busy and it's been a very, very lengthy process, but I'm excited to finally see everything coming together and it's finally looking like a house. So let's go ahead, head upstairs and check it out. On top of being a very lengthy process, it's been a very, very messy process with all the extra pieces of drywall. But this week I finally was able to get it all cleaned up down here and finally have some nice open space and we still got a little bit more to clean, but let's go ahead, open up the shop house and turn on all of the lights in here. Get this 80 by 60 shop lit up. And as you can see, the four post lift is finally up in the air. We installed it all perfectly straight in line. And then one of the things that ended up happening is actually the hydraulic cylinder. I bought this lift to use. The cylinder had a complete leak in it. So I went ahead, removed the entire cylinder installed it back in there and we are good to go. All I gotta do is mount up the hydraulics up there. And then once we have all the wiring in the shop, I'm gonna drop a lead off of the ceiling right there to power the lift with that 220. And then we're gonna go ahead and paint the lift all black and then adding in my two post in the second bay, which will also paint black as well. 
And talking about all the mess upstairs, you can see how many bags of trash we have right here that we gotta go ahead and drop off at the dump of just wasted extra pieces and just the mess we've made building the house upstairs. And for us to be able to get this job done with the finish I wanted, I had to go buy a whole pallet of that green mud. Let's go ahead, head upstairs and see how much of a big difference has been made since the last time I updated y'all. And no, we're not all the way done yet. We still have to finish it out perfectly, but you can see how much smoother and complete it's really looking up here. And we're not even painted yet. This is just sanded down from all of the mud. They still got a little bit more to sand, but you can see how much of a big difference we've had from before when all the drywall was just laid up and not taped and float. It did not look nearly as good as it does now. And I really just went with a smooth finish because of how much modern it's gonna look for the house. And I'm just not a fan at all of the orange peel or the textured look with a rough finish. So still got a little bit more to do over here in the bathrooms and this room over here but we're definitely getting it knocked out. It's been a long process, but I'm happy to see all of the walls finally sealed off. And you can see we cut out all the boxes and everything for the kitchen in here. And we used to have a bunch, a bunch of mess out here on the patio, but we got it all cleaned up and bagged up. The whole patio back here was completely full and we sweeped it off. We still got a couple more pieces to break up and bags to take down, but it's definitely looking a lot better. And there's just a beautiful view from up here. And I'm getting one step closer to finally being able to move out to my dream ranch and dream shop, have all my work downstairs and all my vehicles, finally have space for everything, land to hunt on, hang out on, and just enjoy finally. And as y'all know, if you've been watching the recent videos, we already had all of the electrical, of course, wired up for the entire shop, but we didn't have the main power wires in. So now we have all of the main wires all wired up to our panel box upstairs here. And then of course at the end, we'll tap in all our regular wires for all the lighting and accessories in the house. And then coming over here to the master bedroom, you can see how much better it looks also. And I know a lot of y'all were talking about windows, but I actually have four in the house. And you can just see how much light they really let inside. Got the work truck chilling down there. And yes, I did some more modifications since the last videos. I went ahead and tinted the entire windshield and we added a new toolbox to that. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out in a little bit as well. And this week, I'm also gonna be picking up all of the tile for the master shower. I think we're gonna go with a nice white looking granite with some gray veins in it to match all of the countertops. And here in the closet, just completely completed. And then before we lay all the flooring, there's some spots where I'm gonna have to add in some more wood and then some high spots in the inch and a quarter plywood that I'll have to sand down. Because we're gonna be taking delivery of the flooring today as well, I went with a very nice dark gray luxury vinyl plank that's completely waterproof. We're gonna be installing that in the entire house and then of course in the bathrooms. And that bathroom is gonna be tile all the way around and in the ceiling. And then on this bathroom over here, we we're gonna go ahead and butt up tile probably all the way against to right here and then put it all the way around that tub. And also this week, all of the vanities and cabinets will be getting delivered and installed also. So we're gonna have the cabinets wrapping all the way around on the bottom and top, butting all the way against the ceiling. And then of course our main island that's really gonna complete the look on this house. And just give it an amazing look with all the white quartz on top of every countertop in the bathrooms and the kitchen and just everywhere in the entire house. And then we got all of our appliances downstairs ready to go. I picked up the doors and we're gonna have to still get all of the trim for the house. But first we're gonna finish making sure all of the texture is perfect before we paint it. Then we're gonna go ahead and paint, install all of the flooring and then make our way onto the cabinets, laying all the countertops and then wrapping up some trim, the doors and everything else. And y'all might've been noticing there's only cutouts for the fans, but we got all of the wires already dropped in the ceiling for the six inch snap in down lights that we're just gonna go ahead and drill in afterwards because we wrote on a paper every single measurement to get all of those perfect. And I went ahead and picked up all of the fans for the house as well, got these nice matte black finish. I think they're gonna really contrast everything nicely. And of course, all of the appliances are ready to go as well. But I'm gonna clean up my mess and get all of these bags thrown away, take it to the dump and get it looking nice and clean in here now because I also 
use my Milwaukee leaf blower to get all of the dust blown out and it already looks 100 times better. But we still got a ton to do, so I'm gonna get to work. And you can see all of the main power and ground wires that came to that top panel box drop down here to our main box that's gonna be for the shop. And then we'll walk outside and show y'all what we've ran down there for the power to the new pole. So currently it's really been bothering me when I bought this property, the previous owner never swapped over the poles. So right now we just have this one pole right here, just in the middle of everything. And this little outhouse that's gonna be getting removed eventually as well. But there's only two powers, one to the water pump and one to the other shop over there. So we're gonna go ahead, trench both of those wires across once the electrical company comes over and switches our meter. And then we already went ahead and routed all of the power and ground from the house down in some PVC conduit to the new pole so that we're ready to power up everything once we get the meter swapped over to this pole that's in a much better location out of the way from the road so we can have a lot more room to turn all the trucks and trailers over here once we clear all that up and then of course expand all the road around and make the roads finished a little bit better. Probably run a roller over it again and then get everything finished out very nicely once we complete. But definitely the skidster has made the project a million times easier. We got the trencher on there and it just cuts through this ground like absolutely nothing. Slowly but surely everything's coming along on the shop though and it's just beautiful weather out today. And I'm gonna go ahead and pile up some more of all this cut brush to give us a nice clean look down to the valley down there. And then also pile up some more brush down there as well. But guys, I wanna hear what y'all think about all of the progress we've made on the shop house and how it's coming out so far. So make sure y'all drop a comment down below and a like if you're enjoying the video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of this content because we've been documenting every single part of the series and we're on part 10 right now. So it's come quite a ways and I'm trying to get every step in here for y'all so we don't miss out on any of the progress. And I do just really enjoy making all of these videos for y'all. So the support is really appreciated and it really pushes me to keep making this content for y'all. And I know a lot of y'all have been asking about the work truck and it actually is for sale on my dealership now, Prime Motor Company. So check it out on there for the full listing on Instagram, just the perfect work truck setup. And we finally added a 36 inch triangle toolbox right here. Let's go ahead, get it unlocked. And opening up the box, huge shout out to Capri Tools for all of these wrenches and impact sockets and a ton of hand tools. We've got almost everything I could need for a mobile setup and I still got a ton of room to add extra tools, but we've got all of our half inch impact sockets, quarter inch, and we go all the way from basically eight to 36 millimeter with no skips. And then I've got this nice tray of these small wrenches and then some huge sockets, 29 to 36 millimeter back there deep and in this other capri box i've got a full master hex socket head kit that's definitely going to be helpful and then we've got a variety of hand tools i got those nice crescent plier wrenches and then we've got some extensions all of our ratchets and then just some other tools but man this toolbox has just come extremely handy for situations when i need tools on the go and we just got the truck right here ready to go with them so make sure y'all check out Capri Tools and use my code ford 6 10 to save 10% off their entire website on all of their tools. They're already a great price and very, very high quality. So check them out. But I'm gonna go ahead, get to work on cleaning up the land out here a little bit and take delivery of all of our flooring so we can get one step closer to finishing the entire shop house. And I went ahead and used the skid steer with the forks to make this job a whole lot easier unloading all of our luxury vinyl plank and I am very happy with how these planks came out looking. The color on them is exactly what I was wanting. I'm going to go ahead, bring it in the sun for y'all to take a closer look. And these are completely 100% waterproof. We're going to be using them in the entire house. As you can see, we've got a nice dark gray pattern here. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. So if you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like down below, comment, let me know what you thought about today's video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all of this content on the Dream Shop House and Ranch. And also I do a lot more such as buying, selling, and customizing vehicles on the page. So just stay tuned for more videos and I appreciate y'all watching. And I'll see you next time.